Enlightened. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a personalized episode of Enlightened. Today, we're diving into the future of transportation with the all-electric Chrysler Halcyon and the challenges facing hydrogen fuel stations in California, alongside the rising popularity of heat pumps over traditional furnaces and the proposal for a new hurricane category. Join us as we explore these pivotal shifts in technology and climate science. Electric heat pumps are increasingly replacing fossil fuels in buildings for heating, cooling and other applications, signaling a shift towards electrification. Notably, heat pumps have started outpacing conventional furnaces in sales, with a 21% lead over gas furnaces in 2023, up from a 12% advantage in 2022. The adoption of heat pumps is facilitated by the 2022 Inflation Reduction Act and new multi-state efforts supporting technology for retrofitting older homes. The Energy as a Service model, exemplified by Europe's ERA, offers heat pumps with installation and a 10-year service guarantee for a monthly fee, potentially reducing heating costs by up to 40%. The U.S. Department of Energy is also focusing on decarbonizing heavy industries, allocating $171 million to 49 projects, including industrial-scale heat pumps for higher heat requirements. Projects like Ecogen Power Systems and Train Technologies are developing advanced heat pump technologies, with applications ranging from industrial waste heat recovery to enhancing food processing efficiency. The push towards heat pump technology is part of a broader effort to decarbonize various sectors and reduce greenhouse gas emissions with significant investments and research backing these initiatives. Climate scientists Michael Weiner and James Cosson explored the adequacy of the Saffir-Simpson wind scale, traditionally ending at Category 5, in the face of intensifying hurricanes due to ocean warming. Publishing in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, they propose a theoretical Category 6 for storms exceeding wind speeds of 192 miles per hour, a response to underestimating risk in a warming climate. Analysis of hurricanes from 1980 to 2021 identified five storms that would fit this new category, all occurring in the last nine years. Their research indicates that with a 2 degrees Celsius rise in global temperatures, the likelihood of Category 6 storms could increase by up to 50% near the Philippines and double in the Gulf of Mexico, with the highest risk areas being Southeast Asia, the Philippines, and the Gulf. This proposition aims to enhance public awareness of the escalating risks of major hurricanes in the context of climate change. Join us as we explore the Catalyst Breakthrough. Scientists at Dongguk University have made a breakthrough in the development of an efficient catalyst for the oxygen evolution reaction, a crucial part of the water-splitting process for hydrogen and oxygen production. This new catalyst, made from molybdenum and ruthenium, demonstrates remarkable activity, speed and durability. Published in Applied Catalysis B, Environmental, the study highlights the potential for cost-effective, large-scale production of next-generation catalysts. This advancement is key to overcoming current challenges in hydrogen production, such as low catalyst activity and degradation. The research underscores the importance of hydrogen and oxygen in clean fuel, power generation and chemical production. Moreover, it points towards a sustainable future in transportation with hydrogen fuel cells, offering a promising alternative to decarbonize the sector. This study paves the way for new catalysts in acidic water oxidation, crucial for achieving 80% renewable electricity by 2050. And now, pivot our discussion towards automotive news. The 2024 Chrysler Halcyon all-electric concept sedan focuses on essential needs with an aerodynamic design, featuring a 40% glass body that's sustainable and recyclable, eliminating the need for paint. Its interior includes recycled materials like RRPET from water bottles and non-leather trims, with the Chrysler wing logo made from crushed compact discs, aligning with Stellantis carbon reduction goals. 
The vehicle offers practical innovations such as pillarless entry, steer-by-wire with retractable steering and pedals, and Level 4 autonomous driving capabilities. The smart cockpit aims to enhance daily life with features like traffic monitoring for departure times, personal setting adjustments via magnetic tags, and next-gen stow-and-go seating. Augmented reality could display vehicle data, stargazing constellations, or video calls on the massive windshield. Chrysler is exploring wireless EV charging and developing 3D Grafen, 800-volt lithium-sulfur batteries for increased range and reduced carbon footprint. Alongside implementing ideas from the concept into future models, starting with a 2025 EV crossover. Toyota Motor Corp. announced significant leadership changes at its small car unit, Daihatsu Motor, with both the president, Soichiro Okudaira, and chairman, Sunao Matsubayashi, stepping down nearly a year after Daihatsu admitted to rigging collision safety tests. This move reflects Toyota's effort to salvage Daihatsu's reputation as a leading compact car manufacturer in Japan, amidst broader challenges, including safety certification issues and governance problems affecting Toyota's reputation. The scandals prompted a rare apology from Toyota chairman Akio Toyota. Masahiro Inoue will become Daihatsu's new president starting March 1st, with no replacement for Matsubayashi announced. Despite the leadership overhaul not being framed as a punitive measure, Daihatsu will exit the Commercial Japan Partnership Technologies, transferring its 10% stake to Toyota. This partnership, aimed at commercial vehicle technology development, will continue without Daihatsu, which contributed to 7% of Toyota's total group sales in 2023. Next, we'll be discussing Shell's recent announcement. Shell's announcement to shut down several hydrogen fuel stations in California has raised concerns about the future of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, FCEVs, like Toyota's Mirai, Hyundai Nexo, and the upcoming Honda CR-V EFCEV. The company cited hydrogen supply complications and market factors for closing seven stations across Berkeley, Citrus Heights, San Francisco, Sacramento, and San Jose, starting February 6th. This decision leaves only 17 operational stations in the Bay Area and one in Sacramento. Previously, Shell had planned to expand its network with 48 new stations, but has now decided to cease all its light-duty station operations in California early this year. The move signals potential challenges for FCEV adoption, highlighting the issue of station reliability and accessibility in regions like Los Angeles, where having a dependable network of refueling options is crucial for FCV owners. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Innovation Pulse. If you enjoyed our insights and are eager to learn more, the Enlight Me app is just a tap away. Expand your knowledge with personalized content on over 20 diverse topics, from crypto to health and beyond, all curated to fit your interests. Download the Enlight Me app now at the Apple Store or Google Play, or visit the enlightme.ai website. Stay curious. Stay enlightened.